In the span of three minutes or less, I'm going to tell you about the various types of cameras. Here we go. Before photography was photography, there was the camera obscura, which we'll come back to later. Here's our scene that we'll use as an example. The earliest type of camera was the view camera. A camera that is bigger than 12 men and a child isn't practical, so let's forget about that. This is better, a 4x5 view camera. It takes time to set up, but by yourself and not 12 men and a child. Produces great photos. It has movements to shift the plane of focus, adjust for converging lines, and all kinds of other neat tricks. When you work under a dark cloth, the image is inverted and laterally reversed. Along came George Eastman, who created Kodak, and told us, you push the button and we do the rest. Thus, the box camera was born. It came with a viewfinder, which sometimes is easy to see and sometimes isn't. Later to come were plain viewfinders, and later still, cameras with viewfinder frame lines. Some photographers want their viewfinder camera to produce photos that are in focus. So the rangefinder was invented. This helped the photographer focus on the subject. It's easy to tell when your subject is not focused correctly and when it is. However, we wanted more accuracy in the framing of our photos, so the reflex camera was created. The reflex camera worked on the same principle as some camera obscuras. Reflex cameras have been around since the early 1900s. The tall chimney finders lack convenience. One day, Paul Frank and Reinhold Hideki got together and created the twin lens reflex camera. Actually, it was Paul Frank. Despite all of the advances in camera design, the twin lens reflex, or TLR, has changed very little through the decades and the image is still laterally reversed. What the world needed was a pentaprism, and we got it in the late 1940s with the arrival of the 35mm single lens reflex, or SLR. It allowed the photographer to once again use the primary lens to view and focus an image that was in all ways correct. Digital SLRs are still based on this same principle. Along came digital and many camera makers did away with viewfinders and many cameras. Olympus and Panasonic brought pro-level imaging to viewfinderless cameras. We call them mirrorless. Digital photography also includes portable devices, notably smartphone cameras, with screens that are scores larger than a camera's viewfinder and LCD monitor. Many people now use these to take the photos. We certainly have come a long way since the early days of photography and we'll see what the future holds.